the thing. World star hip hop. Oh man. Right. Could you have imagined that without an internet? It would have been like I don't know, like DVDs or something like that. <laughs> I mean Smack DVD, but that was on some right. hip hop shit, but World Star is literally like a news section of just like ass whoopings. Ass whoopings. 100%. Um Rated R shit Like fucking naked girls Yeah it has a bunch But that's what it's known for though Cause that's when When people scream world star For the it, most part The ass whooping It's the ass whooping Yeah and that's it was, a classic It became a thing bro World star This country's getting A lot weirder though Cause there's a It's a point now Where like there's protests And weird shit going on In the street Nobody even cares anymore Like if you look at The other day I saw like in LA uh-huh. There were like A bunch of like Rednecks fighting Some Antifa dorks Or some shit Okay and it was apparently Proud Boys or some shit. And I don't know what they were doing in L.A. Uh-huh. But I think they I heard were, about that. But they just beat the fuck out of each other for, like, for no, no reason. For no reason, just there. Cause they like, just don't like each other. I mean, it, there is a reason. It's obviously like, oh, this is a law that's going to come and it has something to do about trans or whatever and some shit. Something okay. related to, like... Proud you know, Boys are against it. Just anything that divides them. Right. right. The whole Hegelian dialectic shit right. that we were talking about. That's not what I... Did you see Caitlyn Jenner's uh, video on the border? Oh, because because uh, Caitlyn is running for trying to be governor, right? Yeah, trying to take out my man. This uh, is Terminator. This, this is like, this is wow. This is so we wait. Terminator, uh, my man Arnold was governor of Cali, right? Or he still is? Yeah, he was the governor of Cali. He was. He's not anymore. No, no, he hasn't been for a long time now. Okay, so we had the Terminator. Now we're about to have ex Bruce Jenner. Now, Caitlyn Jenner, fucking swag. This is going to be the first governor in the United States history, or maybe the first governor ever, with a dick and a pair of tits. Hey, think man. about that. There's a first. You think about that. And, but yeah, I was asking you because there was a video I seen of her. Um, Caitlyn can beat off and have something to feel on. I guess she was in Mexico and she's like filming uh, the, the, um, the wall. And she's like, we got to finish the wall. Because I think there was a piece like that. You seen it? No, I haven't seen there, it. I think she put it on her Instagram. Where I seen it on Twitter. And there was a piece that was missing. It's like, oh, we got to fix the wall. Look, there's people right now uh, uh, coming over the, the wall. There was literally, I didn't see anybody. But she was like, yeah, we got to fix this. So uh, heart, get me for governor. Da, 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 da. I was like, okay. This has been a thing for a while now. She it's really, very, wants, this, to, this she really wants to finish the wall. Highly memeable content, by the way, this Caitlyn Jenner stuff. Why is she so crazy about finishing the wall? Because she's supposed to be a Republican. But it's hard to be a Republican if you're trans. Because they hate trans? Because they're more... Because Republicans are closer to the conservative movement. Which is like... Conservative is like to conserve the culture. Very Christian-esque. Preserve that sort of thing. Yeah, and right? white people to stop. I mean, for, there's black conservatives for but. for a part of that is to stop it from what do you call it getting, uh, what do you um diversified? No, not diversified from getting subverted. Okay, subverted. That like. was especially important during the Cold War. Uh. There's a lot of issues with our culture, right? And I'm not talking about like now. Back then, it was worse, obviously, right? I mean, Trump started it, bro. He like, was... should you really like beat the fuck out of someone because they're gay? Like, no. What the fuck kind of shit is that? Right? That's ridiculous. A a, a failed businessman. Well, a failed businessman slash uh, TV host. That's... That one, I don't. You know, Ronald Reagan was an actor. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Ronald Reagan. That's base. Was also a spy during the Cold War. Was he for what? Oh yeah. For who? Yeah. For the for the government, he Is actually it? did. He actually did. Uh, I think his code name was T ten. It was a bunch of T's with like different numbers, and he was a T either T nine or T ten. I can't remember. It right. was a spy. A spy, but it wasn't. It wasn't like spy and like oh Some James they, Bond shit. and like they got him. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Okay. Basically, <clears throat> he was you know famous actor, right? Yeah. And basically, he had access to a lot of Hollywood, and they were saying like, uh, there's some communist here in Hollywood. And we're fighting with the Soviet Union. Those are the communists on the other side of the world. They got nuclear weapons. We got to defend ourselves. And so basically, Ronald Reagan, he was a, always like, he was a hardcore, like, fuck the communist type shit. And he I went over that. there. He was a Republican, right? Hardcore Republican, right? Gotcha. And he ended up, like, finding some of them and, like, reporting back, right? Basically, like, he gave a testimony. It's like, you can find it on YouTube probably so right he, now. He, he was spying on a bunch of communists. And it's old. This shit is in black and white. And then just snitched and told Arab, the government, like, yeah, yeah. Get, these, get these fuckers oh, yeah. out of here. Yeah, that's what he did. Shit. 
they were people that he was close with because he was in that Hollywood circle. That's why they got him. Oh, yeah, my fault. There was those people in Hollywood It was Hollywood people. Yeah, that's who they were really worried about for oh. the most part. Cause, wow. Because Hollywood... Wait, but was he an actor first or a second? You Probably mean, second, right? You mean after... After being a spy? Oh, well, I'm pre- no, he, I'm pretty sure he was already an actor. Famous actor because... You know, he, the reason they got him is because of his Hollywood connections, because of who he got was in you, Hollywood. Got you. And then, right? he, then he became a spy. And then he became a and spy. And then he became president. And then he became president. God, Lee. Yeah. He lived the lived the life. That's a hell of a life, right? Yeah, but fuck him. He's, <laughs> I don't fuck with Ronald Reagan. Man, that's a weird dude. The fact that, what? I don't know, man. His push on drugs was based. I think the subversion He's shit. a liar, right? I do think the subversion shit is happening, by the way. Like, that's not. The subversion shit? Subversion shit, where there's, like, another country, like, trying to fuck with the minds of... The U.S.? Yeah, because, like, even if you talk to, like, the KGB agent... Have you ever played Call of Duty Cold War? I have it. You have it, right? Have you ever seen, like, in the intro, isn't it, where they have this guy, um... They have, like, some dude that's talking with, like, a an accent? Uh... On, like, a small screen, like, the screen? You're you talking know? about the newest one that came out, right? Call of Duty Black Ops Cold isn't War? Isn't that, like, the first thing you see? I'm trying to see which one is that. I think so. I'm not sure. Where there's this Russian guy. Well, I forgot which which uh, Call of Duty it was, but okay. there's this Russian guy talking, and he's keep telling me. I probably remember talking about like the division, and he has like this accent. Uh, mm. That that's Yuri Bezmenov. He's a KGB agent. Reznov. Uh, Bezmenov. Bezmenov. And mm. he escaped from the Soviet Union. He was a top KGB agent. He was a propaganda dude. That was his job. Shit. His job was to get the dudes as soon as they arrive on the airport uh-huh. and have them fucked up and completely intoxicated so shit. that they would think that the Soviet Union was a shit. Because that's what he would do. He would get like the famous uh, journalist and shit from the United States uh-huh. and fly them over to like the Soviet Union, communist Soviet Union, right? Uh-huh. And make them think that the Soviet Union was the shit so that they would go back home and report and be like, this place is awesome. No one's dying here. And it was ridiculous. Dude, there were kids in concentration camps and these people didn't even notice they were like this is kindergarten this <laughs> what the because the propaganda machine is a, is intense and he came after he left yeah. he was in india for a while that's he's, how it is like in north korea and shit uh in, extreme propaganda oh in north korea it's way they don't know anything right it, no they don't know anything like what's know, going on anywhere else all, right at all no no they don't even i don't they don't I, even have internet right no, they don't have internet at all. Yo, God bless at them. At all. No, no, no. There's no access to information. And that's a... So bad that's a but the thing is, like, it's it's almost... It's too, it's almost worse with the internet, but it's not. Obviously, it's not because... Obviously, it, because you're going to see some factual shit, right. but there's because a lot of misinformation. At least you can work by yourself to, like, try to figure out what's fake and, and what's, what's true. real. Yeah. Right. But... But these people don't got shit. Like, they don't... They no, can't, no, 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 no. That is... It's, it's fucked. Like, all they got is North Korean stuff in there, related. And they're, like, killing them off purposefully and telling them about it. That's fucked up. They're telling them, because there's, like, 50 uh, different classes of wealth, which is ironic as fuck, because, like, communism, the whole goal, like, yo, come on. Um, (laughs) Kim Jong? um, That's his name, right? Yeah. He's a fucker. Didn't he fucking... uh, Kim Jong, you know you and everyone in your family has a small dick. Didn't he ban uh, skinny jeans, or did he make it... There was a there was a phase where I, I saw him wearing some some uh, wide pants or some shit. Yeah, know? I seen those. You sent me those. Those shits are huge. The umbrella shorts or whatever. My though. man was flexing with the the bags. That's just sad. Yo, what size were those shits? I don't know. That that's that was probably Photoshop though. That no, I don't even think it was. That's the thing. I believed it. Listen, man, it's North Korea. Anything can happen. That man, I don't even. Anything. And everybody has to have a certain haircut. You can't have his haircut. Damn. Oh, and you have to have, like, there's paintings in the house. Here's an interesting thing. There was this great, uh, there's a girl that actually left from there. And she's really, obviously, anti-communist. Came right? to the U.S., right? Came to the U.S. And she's done, like, it. she's been on Rogan's podcast. She went with Jordan Peterson. She went with a lot How of people. How the fuck did she make it out? It was a rough story. It was I a rough can, story. I can imagine. She almost died. Uh, coming out and she was raped a lot of times in China there's a lot of by the way China fuck you for having th- like 300,000 North Korean girls fucking raped? enslaved as like prostitutes and organ selling and shit like for that real? this is how it goes down in China by the way like this is not 
in China, in these communist countries, the same thing happened in North Korea. Yeah. Where they kill like millions of people because it's like to them, you're just like, you're useful for the revolution. That's all you, that's all that matters. Yeah. And like if somebody needs a liver and it's a rich guy and he's going to pay us and this is for the revolution or whatever, then we're fucking taking yours because you're in a concentration camp and nobody even knows you're fucking alive Dude, and we own you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, well, I fuck with all type of people, but I can't fuck with Chinese people because they have a dog parade every year, bro, and they kill them. Dude, I've seen those videos and it's That's brutal. fucking cruel, dog. Don't they, are you talking about like when they, where they fry them to eat them? Dude, I've seen a dude frying a dog alive. Dude, come on. And bro. I felt like beating the, the absolute shit out, of shit out of that man. Yeah, bro. It's like you piece of shit. How could they do that, dog? That's such that's OD, dog. Like I can't even I would never in my life even think about fucking For, for me the the worst thing is like the making it like the torture. <laughs> Yeah, bro. The torture, man. Like, you don't have to torture him. You don't got to fry him while he's fucking alive. Kill him first. At least you're going to kill him, bro. Like, that's not necessary, my dude. It's not necessary. Is that... that why, why are we eating dogs? <sighs> Listen, man. There's a lot of... Uh, worse I know there's different type of religions, different type of oh, no, 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 cultures. No, no. I'm just saying it gets worse, like, in terms of, like, taste. What they well, eat? For, oh, for, yeah. for us, it's worse. For them, it's like, oh, delicious. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know, it depends, it depends, you know what I mean? I'm not eating dogs ever, bro. I don't care. They won't tell you. They won't tell you. Right, the Chinese You know, they the tried Chinese to give it, you know, today? back at, like, when I was, when we were born. Uh-huh. Right? I was born in Cuba still. Okay. And motherfuckers there were eating dogs because it was special, period. See? I'm not there wasn't with that. shit. I'm not But the with thing that. is, like, my pops pulled up to the crib, and he was like, this shit tastes weird. And he, he was like, what is this? And they were like, it's pork. He's like, that's not fucking pork. And he oh, dipped. Oh, God. Like, he refused to eat that shit. He's like, trying to play him like that, dog? Yeah. That's fucked up. First of all, if anybody did that to me, I would, I'd probably beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> don't play with me like that, buddy. Like, don't what, make, don't what make if it me... What if it tastes great? Even then, bro, like... What if it tastes great? You never know. See, that's an animal where I just can't see eating, bro. It's like, come on, dog. A dog? I think humans are, like, very close to dogs, and that's why... I have a dog. Yeah, I have, have a dog. dog. I have a dog, yeah. That's why... Even even if I didn't have a pet, oh, I still wouldn't eat a dog, man. Fuck that. That's the here. thing is, like... You know, part of the thing about meat is, like, we just don't see what we do. No, we don't... We just don't see it as it's an actual animal. It's, it's, it's so, like a... It's so different. It's after. so separated from us. Yeah. Like, we pay a dude money, and we don't realize it. You pay him. That motivates... Money That's is it. a motivator. That's what it is. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah. He's dead. Clean all the blood. Seal him up. Ship him to the stores. Supply and demand. Where the... That's what it is. Fucking crazy, we, we We give them the demand and they supply... You ever, you, would you ever go vegan? I probably would. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I, I, I wish I could do it, but I feel like in order to be vegan, you need some cash, man. I could no, I, I could well, I could probably be vegan cheap as fuck. Like, but like eating like comfortable things you like, I feel like it's more expensive, no? Oh, if you want to like, yeah, if you want to have like a real nice diet and shit, right, and like be super, yeah, that's expensive. Not on some like little dick shit and just eat like you all. You gotta lettuce. go to like Whole Foods and yeah, shit. Yeah, all that nice stuff. Yeah. And you gotta get, you know, one of the things is like the ice cream. Like, how far would you go? Because like one thing is vegetarian, another is ice cream. Oh, I've I've tried a vegan ice cream. How is it? It's really good compared to regular ice cream. It's pretty good. It's literally the same shit. Get the fuck out! I'm not even joking. Look, I'm telling you right now. You want to try it? Get some Ben and Jerry's vegan ice cream. Fucking great. But that's not a fair compare. Well, all right, Ben and Jerry's vegan versus regular Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. The same quality. Yes, same quality. Good, Respect. as good, as good. Shout out Ben when and Jerry. No, actually, fuck Ben and Jerry. Weren't they the ones that fucked around with China and they apologized or some shit to China? It's like, fuck you. No, I don't know anything. That was that. them. There was some Ben and Jerry shit. I don't remember what it was, but still, fuck you, Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> I know they're super democratic and shit, so. They, they're on some They bullshit. are, right? I think they were like Team Bernie. Bernie got his own, uh. Bernie? How the Ber fuck are you Team Bernie? You're rich. You're fucking. <laughs> Bernie dead. got his own flavor. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Ben and Jerry's. He had his did, own did, did he go for it? Did he like it? I think he did, yeah. He did? He yeah. likes the, the he's 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 in the you business. Know, you know Ben and Jerry's, Bernie, that's all like young people you, crowd you right know, there. You know, I saw like this article where it was like uh, Bernie and they, they were talking about how like he used to talk about millionaires and he stopped saying millionaires as soon as they found <laughs> he out he was a millionaire. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. That shit was, it became, no, it's the billionaires we got to worry about stuff. Yeah, that's what he says? That's He says billionaires. I know man. he's uh, complained about, is it Elon? 
Oh no, it's Jeff. He's always nah, complaining about Jeff. Listen, he he hates all of them. He hates Jeff. He's like, wait, this guy didn't pay any taxes, and he did this, and he did that, and I, f- I forgot what he tweeted, but it, yeah. The shit he promotes is so ridiculous, though. Like the way he's talking about shit is like, yo, you're promoting a six trillion dollar package for this country of all countries mm. for infrastructure. Like that's it. Infra- you think Bernie's uh Bernie's uh view was kind of fucked up? I th- it wasn't going to help America. I just the issue is that a guy like Bernie I had hope in Bernie man I'm not even going to no, lie No my you. thing for Bernie is like first of all he's not he's not going to become president that's clear Nah at this point. You don't think he had any chance though I don't think he had a chance if he if he was younger if I he, feel like cuz he was who was he going against again If he was younger he's he was going against well Was it around Clinton right it was Clinton he was going against You mean back then I mean it was he he went twice right You mean when Trump won yeah. Yeah, he went against Clinton and for the Democratic nomination. Shit, dog. How, dude, he should have beat Clinton, bro. Come on. I think I think what happened is a lot of people were scared of the socialism shit. A lot of people that were, and they should be, by the way. What the fuck? First of all, that would be literally two opposites, though, right? Like, the way Trump thinks and the way Bernie thinks. I just don't think it would be opposites, though, because, like, Trump is actually, he economically. Yeah. Like, culturally in general, of course, right? But, like, yeah. in terms of economics, like, just plain... Like, dude, Trump gave out, his, like, stimulus checks and shit in the middle of a fucking pandemic, right? Yeah. This is not some shit that, like, a hardcore capitalist does. No? Right? Okay. Hardcore capitalism is, like, fuck that private property. You don't gotcha. get to, you know, taxation is theft or whatever, you know? Gotcha, like, gotcha. that type of shit. Right, right, right. Or any taxes that aren't, like, for... So, like, if anything, he was kind of similar to Bernie? A little similarity? It's just, I wouldn't even call it similarity because Bernie Sanders is a socialist. Okay. Right? And what would you say Trump is? I would say Trump is just a, re- a Republican and economically he's a market capitalist. Gotcha. Right. And that's what we are. I mean, it's not like we're- What was Hillary? She's a market capitalist too. She She's a, she just, I, I better not say anything about her. I might end up committing suicide accidentally. Yeah. Is that uh, serious? People talking about Hillary like that? Oh, man, you got to watch the Clinton Chronicles. That's a thing? I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying it happened. You know what I'm saying? What it's, is it? What is the Clinton Chronicles? Clinton Chronicles is a documentary made by, like, uh, first of all, I think that the guys that made it, they were actually, like, the cops from that area. And they made the documentary. It was like, why doesn't anyone listen to us? <laughs> <laughs> it's on YouTube? It is on YouTube, yeah. Dude, you got to send me that. And it was uh, Is it I'll actually good, it though? It's 100% good. Yeah? It's going to talk to you. Do they dig deep? Bro, you have no idea who Bill Clinton is until you watch that shit. All right, then I got to say it then. Allegedly. Right, of course. I'm not saying it's real. You know, I'm full the of shit. The guy I was chilling with Jeff, of course, in the plane. Dude, you're going to hear stories about the coke and how he... Oh, the guy that I was talking to you about, the guy that was flying for the CIA, flying the... He was involved with Bill? The coke. Dude, it was in Arkansas that they pulled him up. They pulled him... Isn't them. Bill from Arkansas? He was the governor of Arkansas. Arkansas. Yes, right, 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 right. That's right. right. And this is the issue is like he parks over there in Arkansas or whatever. And all of the agencies were trying to get after him. Right. OK. All of them, like the CIA and this organization, that organization. The guy this flying is, the planes for. Uh, yeah. OK, for I got gotcha. you. And, and this is the issue with that. And the, build and do shit. No, no, no. It's way worse than that. Oh, OK. But the, the, what I'm part of what I'm trying to get at is like it's clear, right? Like these guys, they don't even understand what the other guys doing. Like they don't trust each other. Right. CIA agents don't even fucking trust each other. Imagine CIA really? and FBI. That's oh yeah, that's they're happened. like that. Oh yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah, yeah. Even though they're in the, under the same government. Man, you gotta. It's wild out here. Damn. So, CIA be going against the FBI. Listen, and all type of shit. Well, here's what happened: a bunch of go these go different go agencies they pulled up and they wanted to arrest them, and they had them arrested. Okay. And basically, here's what happens: Bill pops up. Bill calls. He's the governor of the state. He has full authority there. He's like, bleep bleep, let him go. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Don't arrest. Just like that. And uh, he was set free, fam. You know, Pablo paid him. Listen, man. Something happened. Man. I can neither confirm nor deny. Is it in the Clinton Chronicles? This the that part? Yeah. I don't remember if that's in the Clinton Chronicles. That's super but interesting. In the Clinton though. Chronicles, they they talk to like the chicks that claim that he raped the fuck out of them. Oh the, shit. The the ones the same ones that talk about like how he's a cokehead and shit. And I how, can see that. And the shit that he was a hippie in Oxford, which is clear. I mean, look at the way he used to dress back in the day when he was in the university. I mean, it was like, yo, this is not a dude who takes life seriously. You can <laughs> tell, dude. He's. But you can tell it, he looks lighthearted. But, but isn't it fun? But it's also rough, right? Like for sure. If you think about it, like 
part time like politician. Part, cokehead, politician, did not have sexual relations, but actually did. How far I, does I feel it go? Like that's, do you think a lot of politicians are hiding shit? And I think we should oh end my. it. We should end it by here because we're definitely we, we actually recorded a lot. Yeah, yeah, we're like an hour thirty or some shit. But whatever. You think uh, politicians are hiding? A lot of them are, or they're? Are you think they're true to themselves? No, I think they're hiding a lot. But most of them, though. Dude, if I send you the shit, you, forget about that. You think there's any real honest politicians? Honest? Fuck no. No. Nah. Like honest politics, it's impossible. Genuine politicians, nah, right? How are you able to convince to, people? To know, you can't you convince know. people with the truth, right? Because a lie always sounds better. That's the issue. That's the issue with with the system, the way that it's set up right now. Feel that. So I guess we could end it there, and I'm lying to you. <laughs> Guys, we will be back next week. Peace. Swag. Um, go subscribe and yeah. <laughs>